How to make vodka when medical grade alcohol is a memory, your wounds are festering, and you need to sterilize your tools, your body, and your soul. Let's be clear, this isn't for a party, this is for survival. You need a disinfectant, a solvent, a fuel, and a tradable currency that you can also drink to forget that you're drinking fuel. This is a multi-tool in liquid form. First, we ferment. Find something with starch. Potatoes, rotten grain, that forgotten 50-pound bag of rice in some prepper's basement. Mash it into a pulp. Boil it. This converts starch to fermentable sugar. Cool it down, add it to a bucket with water and yeast. Now you have a disgusting, bubbly mash. This is where things get dangerous and fun. This is distillation. If it's built wrong, it explodes. If you drink the wrong part, you go blind. Subscribe and I'll tell you how to see another miserable sunrise. You need need a still, a pressure cooker, a metal pot with a sealed wood, and some copper tubing scavenged from a dead air conditioner. Run the tubing from the lid of the pot through a bucket of cold water. What's the most disparate thing you tried to turn into alcohol? Stale bread? Tree bark? That weird looking fungus? Drop your most unhinged recipes in the comments, science. Gently heat your fermenter mash. This is the science. Alcohol has a lower boiling point than water. The alcohol vaporizes first, travels up the tube, hits the gold section, and condenses back into liquid. Drip, drip, drip. That's your prize. Critical warning. The first part of the distillate, the four shots, is rich in methanol. It will make you go blind. Throw it away! Or use it to clean particularly stubborn lust. After that, you get the good stuff. Ethanol. Pure, queen, glorious alcohol. Keep collecting it until the temperature starts to climb to high. That means you're just boiling water. Congratulations! You've made high-proof, multi-purpose poison. Use it to clean a wound. Use it to start a fire. Use it to trade for bullets. Or drink it. If the burn on the inside is worse than the burn on the outside, congratulations! You can still feel something.